G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here and this week we're going to try something a little bit different. What I wanted to do is to explain to you a debate that you might have um, been seen going on within the media. Now the debate centres on the topic um, of the term profound autism. Now what's actually happened is there's a group of experts around the world who've got together and said that the autism diagnostic criteria should actually include a new term, profound autism, and that's to refer to uh, autistic individuals who have quite significant or high support needs and often require 24-hour um, uh, care. Now, um, the, the, the history of this is essentially that as our understanding of autism has grown and that we started to diagnose autism along a spectrum, that means that there is all sorts of support needs that people with a diagnosis of autism may require, there's been a feeling that maybe there are some individuals, um, particularly those who have very high support needs who might be overshadowed and their needs may not be um, identified and and acknowledged, particularly those with high support needs. So what has been going on is a debate between people who really feel it's quite important um, to uh, keep the autism spectrum together under one label and another group of people who really feel it's important to highlight the very high support needs um, that certain individuals uh, might have and therefore require a separate term, profound autism. Look, my own view is that we, we do. there is no doubt out there that there is a significant group of people who feel that their needs are overlooked or overshadowed. That is a view that must be valued and understood and explored further. Whether profound autism is actually the right term um, or the most appropriate term or whether it's the, um, a, a term that we should be using at all, that can come out within the debate. My view is that we should value all perspectives that are out there, hear what people are saying and seek to explore and come to a mutual solution.